I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to get solar set up on your camper van or a travel trailer, RV, whatever. So the first thing that you have to do when you're putting in a solar system is you have to calculate everything. You have to figure out, you know, how big your wire is going to be, what, what's the load going to be, all of this stuff. And that normally takes so long, especially if you've never done it. It's overwhelming. It's a pain in the ass. So we're going to skip that entire step. Okay, well, I'm not exactly skip it, but what we're going to do is we're going to load that shit into, a into AI and let AI do it for us. So go to chat, GPT, Gemini, whatever. What you're going to do is you're going to tell it everything that you're going to be using. Tell it you're trying to set up a solar system and an RV and that um, you're going to be using this appliance, this many lights, every whatever your load is going to be. You put that in better yet, if you can have a link, in other words, if you're buying this from, say, Amazon or whatever, Put those links or the title of those actual products into ChatGPT so it'll see exactly what you're using and tell it what you're trying to do. And it will it will figure out everything for you within seconds. It will calculate your entire load. It will tell you what size battery you need. It will tell you how many solar panels you need, what size wire you need. It will do everything for you. And that basically cuts this process down to like then you're just down to the installation. So you've saved all that time. It's so quick and easy. Trust me, do that. And one other thing, though, is always double check AI. So if you're using ChatGPT and it spits out um, information for you that this is going to be your load, this is what you need, take that and plug it into another AI like Gemini just to double check it. OK, because AI is almost always right from my experience, but there have been a few instances where it will give me some wrong information. So always double check what you get from AI. But anyway, that first step world of difference when you use AI to do it. Okay. So the next thing is the installation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my installation, what I've done and what I have currently on, on my camper conversion here is I could basically stay off grid infinitely, you know, uh, as far as power is concerned with my solar panels and, and what I'm using. This thing is even strong enough to run my air conditioner or a heating appliance or whatever. I don't know if it'll run it all night. I haven't tried that yet because this is this is all fairly new, this new system that I just put in. But I have ran my air conditioner on this thing for hours and it has done just fine. So uh, anyway, let's get started. We're going to go up top and start with the solar panels. OK, so here we are on top of my my camper conversion and I just burnt the shit out of my arm. So the first thing you want to do is get a freaking towel and put it down on this hot ass metal so that shit don't burn you. I should have known because when I was doing the solar panels, you know, I had a blanket up here and I bring my ass out here and climb up to do this video and burn my ass. So anyway, you're going to want a blanket if you have a metal roof. So on the panels, I have six panels. Um, I have six 100 watt panels and um, my panels are hooked together in series parallel. And again, you know, AI will tell you if you need to do series or parallel or series parallel. And mine is most efficient doing series parallel. So what that means is I have three panels in series and then another three panels in series. And then they're in parallel going into the before they go into the camper. For the, the first three panels, you're going to take positive into negative on panels. And then you're also you're going to do that across all three panels, positive to negative, positive to negative. And then on your two end panels, you're going to have that's going to leave a positive wire on one panel and a negative on the other. And you're going to take those and hook those um, into your line to go down to where it's going to go into series. And I'm, right here, you can see where my wires come together. And then right here is where they've been tied together in series. And then here in parallel is where they go down. And you can see they go into the camper down there. And you can see my other three panels. So that part is super easy. Um, when you're mounting, one other thing to, to, to keep in mind is it's best before you have everything hooked up, I would put a piece of cardboard or something over these panels just for safety so that it's not charging, right? Because if, if these things are exposed to the sun, like they are right now, they're, they're creating current. Okay. So when you're going through this installation process, be sure to keep them covered. Just tape some cardboard over them until you are finished and everything's hooked together. Um, one other thing I want to show you is mounting, right? Uh, um, 
you can see, let's see, right here, you can see where my mounts are. These mounts, it, it's not as cut and dry as, as it is, you know, coming to the factory. Because they only give you places to mount like two of these. Like they're wanting to use four brackets. I felt like four brackets weren't quite enough since I couldn't get two bolts. Because, you know, on mine, I've only got this one inch stud going across. So I decided to do three. So in this metal, you can drill your own hole. Just make sure you, if you're drilling a hole through the metal to create it, to add an extra mount, make sure you put something behind it so that, you know, if you drill punches through, you don't want to hit the back side of your solar panels. So just put a piece of wood or a piece of metal behind there to catch that drill bit. But also on these, see if you can see them, they come with holes, right? Um, you don't have to stick with these holes. In other words, if your bolt's going to line up in the middle or whatever, you can just drill through this, a new, a new hole. So you don't have to stick with that. So anyway, back to my panels. I've got all six of these, uh, three in series, three in series, and then in parallel right there, you can see where they go into the camper. And I'm going to make sure I have all of these, uh, products i'm going to put links to them in the description so that you can see everything i actually used and you can actually go there and and purchase it if you want but i got pretty much everything on amazon so with that being said let's go inside and i'll show you where the line comes in and goes to the charge controller okay so over here above this cabinet is where my line comes in you can't see it really oh you can see a little bit back in there so that's where my line comes in and it follows the trim work up above the bed in the back. And then it goes down that corner trim over there. And it comes in right here. And you have the positive and the negative coming in. So the first thing is, is your negative uh, is going to go straight into your charge controller, right? There's a spot down there on your charge controller where it's got PV positive and PV negative. So your negative will go in there. Your positive is going to go into this breaker, okay? Um, one thing about these breakers, if you use these same break breakers, be careful when you screw them in. You see on this one, I screwed it a little too tight and it broke this corner. It's not going to affect the performance of it. It's just where it mounts, but uh, it's still fine. But anyway, keep in mind, don't over tighten those like I did. So then anyway, your positive is going to go from there into your controller. And then from your charge controller, your negative is going to go over to your negative bus bar. And now keep in mind, this is a whole big setup I've got right here. And I'm going to do another video later showing the entire setup and how everything comes together. But for right now, we're just talking about the solar. Because if you're just doing solar, you don't necessarily need all this. You may be going from your charge controller straight to whatever your load is. And all of that's super easy. It's down here at the bottom where it comes out. But when your positive comes out, your positive, you need to go into another breaker over here before you take your positive into the positive bus bar. You want to have a breaker between every component if possible. And again, um, chat GPT or whatever AI you're using, it'll tell you what size breaker you need, what size wiring you need and all of that. So that's pretty much it. When it comes to hooking up your solar, it is not complicated if you're using AI to help you out, to help you do all the calculations and, and figure everything out because that's, that's half the process is just figuring it all out. And uh, I know it seems intimidating at first, but it's really not that difficult. This is the first solar that I have ever hooked up and I've been testing it for a few days now and it's, it's working great. I mean, it's, it's, it's an amazing system. So uh, if you're thinking about doing solar and obviously you are because you're watching this video, man, you definitely need to do it because I mean, you can stay off grid forever with this stuff. But anyway, it's super easy. Use AI to help you figure everything out and you'll be able to do it no problem.